All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel today, back in SnowRunner. Uh, the new season, season six or chapter six, whatever you want to call it, Hall and Hustle comes out today, December 12th. No, sorry, December 7th. I'm looking at the wrong number. Uh, and I am in the dark about it. I know nothing about it. I know a little, I've seen a couple of the trucks, but I've not seen the map. I don't know very much of anything about it. So we're going to jump in. Also, just a reminder, if you like the video, like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. Some garage features are locked. Oh boy. Garage slots locked by cleaning out the garage. Customized locked by restoring the tuning shop. Truck store locked by truck store construction. Refuel and repair locked by constructing an, a, a constructing a repair garage. So we only have access to our vehicles. We cannot do anything to them, which is good for me anyway because I have everything like. I, I have everything currently that is available, and I have multiple of some. So, we are more than more than ready for this. Before we do that, I want to read the description of this map. Maine is well known for its tall peaks and beautiful nature. When a cold cyclone struck the state at the onset of the rainfall season, one of the nearby rivers overflowed, leaving the locals with a full-on flood on top of iced over roads and shores. This, however, can do little to disrupt a wood processing company's plans to construct a new lumber mill, and if that was not enough, the region almost completely lacks well-equipped garages, making the job of upgrading the infrastructure that much more challenging. Obviously, since we just saw, we have to upgrade the garage before we can use any of the features. So, it's a good thing we have trucks that are already ready for it, like I said already. Which, I think we're just going to start with this Voron, because it's uh, all-wheel drive. All the time, it's always diff-locked, and it has a crane and a bed on it already, so... That was the wrong button. Let's see what we need to do. What's the active quest? Or not quest. Is it a quest? Whatever you want to call it. Objective. Contract. Clean out the garage. So we need four concrete blocks and oversized cargo. Is that what we want to do? Or yes, garage slots. Oh no, we want the trailer store. Yeah, we definitely need the trailer store. All right, cement and consumables at the warehouse over here and the warehouse over here. Uh, let's uh, let's just jump into this and see how we get on. I think it's going to be a little bit difficult, obviously, right at first, because we have no idea where we're going and the road is supposedly icy. So let's go for an adventure. Oh, they have trailers here for us. All right. Well, in that case, we're gonna grab this bed side or this uh, side bed trailer. That way, we can get the consumables and the cement at the same time, depending on how good or bad the road is in this uh, current situation we're in. Shit the bed <laughs> yikes if that's a sign for how this is gonna go it's not gonna be not gonna be good oh hold lights on for safety and I paid for them so we're sure as hell gonna use them let's see if we can get to that place over there and pick up our cement cement and consumables it looks like we may be able to make it over to this warehouse, so we'll see what we can pick up there. Alright, I've decided that uh, as good as that other Voron is, we're going to roll with this guy. Because, as we all know, so far in SnowRunner, the Zix, or the Zeeks, or whatever you would like to call it, is the best truck. The 650 or whatever. This truck, specifically the one I'm driving. It's the best one, for sure. I got distracted, so it's darker, but I was looking up to see if there were any new skins. And then I decided not to bother with it until later. So we're just going to grab the Zeke, or Zeke, I, I'm going to call it the Zeke. We're going to, we're going to haul ass there, because this thing is so much faster than everything else through all this nasty mud and snow and shit. If that's not just completely apparent by now.
So first things first, we're gonna grab the trailer store. We can actually pull this guy with the engine not on probably about the same speed, so that's what we're gonna do. We won't waste any gas. Also, gotta remember, lights on for safety. Dad and I paid for them, so we're gonna use them. First things first, trailer store gives us the ability to get the trailers that have fuel and repair points in them. And then we're going to do the fuel and repair area for the, uh, do we want to go this way or do we want to stick to the road? No, we want to stick to the road. Then we're going to do the uh, fuel and repair points in the garage. And then after that, we will just continue to work our way. All right, as we're rolling up to this right here, you are going to want to be prepared for, I mean, you can use mods, but I never use mods, so I don't, I would suggest, uh, not listening to me about mods I don't use them. if you're gonna do this I would suggest getting very well prepared at least getting all at like max level before you jump in so you have everything available to you because if not this is going to be very difficult I also recommend getting a truck like this one that is extremely good through deep mud because there's gonna be a lot of it here I can tell you that already so let's switch trucks and pick up whatever it is we're picking up here don't exactly know. We need cement and consumables. Ah, consumables. We'll throw two of those in the truck. That means cement. We need to go to one of these other three warehouses. It looks like... Ooh, maybe not. We're going to leave this truck here because it looks like we have a lot of road available to us. In the like down that road we're gonna take the zeeks and go exploring before we uh decide to embark down there any further so we don't pull the truck along if we don't need to oh there's a pub hell yeah it's my type of place and there's a boat. This is a cool little map. Lots of like... Just lots of stuff that can be done here. It looks like an actual city instead of just middle of nowhere. Bar and rest. There's a lot of bars up here. Is there another one over here? Irish pub. Another one? Hell yeah, this is my type of town. We got two pubs. However, we're not going in the right direction. It's a good thing we didn't pull that truck down here because it would have been a waste of time. I think we have to come back up here to this split and head over through the nasty mud. All right, let's get this truck flipped around and picked up. Are we turn it. Where are we turning at? Not there. We could turn there, but where we want to turn at is right here. Let's mark that down so we remember it. Lights are still on for safety. Good news. Change. Let's pick him up and go. All right. Here we are approaching the turn. Going down into a nasty, muddy, swampy, gross mess. We'll see how this turns out. First things first, ooh, that was the wrong button. First things first, we're gonna mark us out a route of where we wanna go because in the mud and the reflectivity off, reflectiveness, sorry, whatever the hell it is off the water, we don't know what the hell we're gonna run into and where the road is gonna be half the time. So we're just gonna mark out a short little map or a short little path for us to take that is on the road. If we're in the low plus, Oh, and there's current to deal with, too. Great. Yeah, definitely are going to need a good vehicle. Something that can handle current and fairly deep water and lots of mud. It is a good thing we have a truck that has a fuel cell on the back of it. 
We are burning through fuel pretty quick. Navigating this nasty swamp. Take the corner wide so the truck we're towing doesn't tip over. Now we could have taken that truck back and dropped off the consumables, but that's why I brought it and a trailer so we didn't have to do that. Alright, we're approaching a paved road. Let's stop here for a second, see where we're at on the map. Looks like there's a main road that heads over here. I wonder if... Actually, no, we're going to have to be crossing there a lot. It looks like there's two sets of main roads. Either way, we're going to continue down this path directly in front of us to get to this warehouse. And then we're going to run back and fix up the trailer store. Come along, Boron! Sounds kind of like I'm calling it a rude name, but I'm not. Let's go, baby! Let's go! Ooh, all right. Bridge is out. Is there a path around it? It does look like on the other side that there's a road up right here. So we're going to take the road down that's further up, and we're going to cross through the water if possible. It looks like we should be fine. Yeah, there's a muddy path right here that's not on the map. It wouldn't take Now, I would not recommend doing this, obviously, unless you have a decent truck through the mud and the water. Because uh, if you don't, you're going to get stuck, and you're going to hate your life, and you're going to spend 15 minutes trying to get out of the, the nasty mud and rocks and water and shit down there. And uh, it's going to drive you nuts. I would imagine that up further, there's an easier place to cross. Or maybe there's not. Maybe this is all you ever have to do. I take it back. You're going to have to cross here. Good luck. sucks that there aren't option of like there are not options to repair certain unrepairable things. Like in Amandra there was that one big bridge that you couldn't cross. Like, I wish I could just say, hey, I'll bring two steel beams and three concrete blocks and we'll fix up that bridge even though we don't have to. Obviously there's ways around it, but I would like the option to fix it anyway, you know? All right, since we're here, I'm going to detach this guy, flip it around, so we are ready for the return trip. Also, there's a fuel tanker here. That's good. I do not know if that is for, probably for a future mission, probably to reactivate that gas station we saw not too long ago. I would bet that's what it's for. All right, let's get these, this cement, put it in the trailer. There's an unlimited amount of cement here, so that's good. And let's flip around and go back. I will see you guys back at the uh, garage, unless something funny or stupid happens. So we're going to cut to that. Oh, hey, the road was over there. That's right. Well, uh, just you can drive through the middle if you want. That's cool. Just don't hit the tree because it'll get you stuck, of course. But you are able to drive through. I was able to drive through with that truck behind me. It didn't even slip. Been shortening the rope the whole time. Come on, truck. It just refilled you full of fuel. you got tons and tons of fuel. Good amount of weight. Six-wheel drive all the time. Lock dips. Being able to 
keep up with this shit, right? Maybe not. We are going the right way, right? Yes, we are. That would have been embarrassing. This is a beautiful map. It'd be better if I was playing at 4K, 120 frames a second on my computer, but I'm not rebuying this game. And I'm not redoing all of my stuff, because I I, did, I know you can transfer all your data and stuff, but I really just, eh, I'm cool with playing it on my Xbox. I want X. Here we come. So the idea behind getting the trailer ooh, the trailer store fixed right away is you now have access to fuel trailers, like that one over there that you start with, and then repair trailers and things like that. That makes the, I've, that's gonna make things easier. If uh, you go out and get stuck or break down somewhere or something like that, you can grab another truck and take the stuff to it instead of having to recover and not having the ability to fix your truck right away. So I would recommend either fixing the trailer store first or fixing the ability to get fuel and repair points at the garage first. BAM! <laughs> that was a... Uh, no animation. You know what? That's fine. 9,800 bucks, 1,040 star points, and we have access to the trailer store now, which means we can sell our trailer. Where's it at? One we have hooked up. Are there any new trailers? They did change the order of them. I wonder if they're by price. No, they're not by price. I'm stupid. I don't know why they changed the order of them. Either way, it doesn't really matter. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for us today. Remember, if you like the video, drop it a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Side note, I am going to be streaming this game off and on on this channel, so if you like to watch live streams and you like this game, stick around and hang out and wait for one. I don't know when I'll be doing it or what days, but uh, just keep an eye out for it. And thank you all for watching again, and see ya.